<clears throat> Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 20, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to support us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're looking at oil. And as you can see, oil did uh, rally quite a bit over uh, past the uh, uh, top of the bullish band and then gave those gains back. And now we're basically in the red. So there are things that are um, definitely making oil bullish. Um, drone attack in, in is definitely one of them and also the fire basically in the Middle East. So those will disrupt um, the supply of oil and therefore prices will most likely start to increase. And it will take time until uh, those things um, get back into order. So uh, that may push this all the way up to 90. But at this current stage, I think we are going to see a test of the previous highs here. Roughly uh, roughly 84. In the best case scenario, we'll drop all the way down to the uh, middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at 80. That is what I'm hoping for, as we have been basically rallying since basically we're down at 63. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still very bullish. The stochastic is turning around, but it is in bullish territory. It has crossed the signal line. It is if it goes underneath 80 or 70, then it will signal that this is uh, ready to tumble. But we are overbought at this point, and uh, a pullback into the $80 range will definitely attract a lot of tension, as oil is expected to uh, go uh, past $90 and probably. $100 within the next uh, few months. So um, people will definitely start buying into oil when uh, it starts to fall. But this is getting very overstretched and overbought and a, a pullback it should be expected at any point. So let's look at natural gas. So finally it falls and I was kind of late. I was waiting for this, but um, it happened very, very fast and I was too late to basically make a sale for this. I did get this one. This was really, really obvious that a rally of the 13% in, um, in January uh, will never ever take off. So I pointed out we did have a rally here as well and it tumbled and uh, here it also tumbled all the way down to the 200 moving average and lost all of those gains. Then it uh, stalled. I thought it was going to go and retest these highs but uh, then it turned around yet again and now we're underneath the, the middle of the bullish band and uh, most likely we will test the previous lows here which is roughly 3.39. If you look at technical indicators we can see the MACD is turning around. It's still bullish. The stochastic is very bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. $3 is kind of the target measuring this breakout move here. So we are entering the period where there will be less demand for oil and it will, most, it will not be until um, September, August that we'll see these moves yet again and that we saw here as well. So this was a very rare move. So there was um, a shortage, um, supply shortage, and a lot of demand for natural gas that made this massive spike here. Probably also a lot of uh, of um, speculation was in this move. But usually, when you get to those that period, we can see it also here back in 2018. I think this was a uh, very cold weather in North America made the spike. We can also see the spike here here and also here as a period of year when it spikes and this period of year it tends to fall and down to three dollars that is you can see um, that is where we basically were before this spike so hope you find this helpful you're going to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much